With the newest installment in the Street Fighter franchise and with Capcom coming out with a new space game, I don't really know what to call it, but it's a sci-fi space themed kind of game following a blonde girl with blue eyes and he's astronaut in a future setting. I don't really know what to call of it. But with that being on Capcom's table right now with these projects coming out later this year or later next year, I wanted to talk about the cancellation of Resident Evil Reverse. We've talked about Resident Evil Reverse multiple times here on the channel. It was supposed to come out alongside Resident Evil 8 on May 7th of 2021 but unfortunately it did not because it was delayed for polishing and to hash out the technical problems it did have now that pretty much what we know about it unfortunately it was delayed till July of that year and then indefinitely till right now pretty much we don't know anything about it right now beside the beta a lot of people were criticizing it for being pretty boring and we're gonna be talking about all that in today's video guys if you guys do go on to enjoy please drop a like subscribe if you guys are new and let's just get into this so i've made multiple videos about this but today i'm going to pretty much be talking about why i think it's going to be canceled now resident evil reverse has been delayed so many times as i mentioned capcom hasn't shared any news about the game in a while now so it is safe to assume it's either still delayed or just been cancelled. Capcom just announced the newest installment in the Street Fighter franchise, so that's their newest project. With Capcom's many projects on their hands, I can't see them putting any more development time into Reverse. Honest truth, and this is coming from me, Resident Evil Reverse looks a bit disappointing and it's pretty much a bad addition to the Resident Evil franchise. I know that's a hot take, and I've wanted to say that in multiple videos now, but Resident Evil Reverse does not look anything appealing. Resident Evil Reverse kind of just looks like one of those game modes where you could just play for a little bit and then pretty much get over it within a couple of hours. It looks pretty boring, and it looks pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen multiple reviews talking about it. Uh, many reviews said it was fun at first, that's all. Within a few hours, it was boring and lacked creativity. Also, was filled with loads of bugs and technical issues. But on the bright side, I mean, that's pretty much why Capcom didn't release it. Or maybe it was the lack of content. Now, as I mentioned, Pragmata, Pragmata, Resident Evil 4 Remake, the cancelled or still not to be announced Resident Evil Nintendo Switch game or Resident Evil Revelations 3 or Resident Evil Re Outrage, whatever you want to call it. I think it's fairly simple that it's one of those games and also resident evil reavers is probably one of the last things that they want to announce uh pretty much i don't think it's going to be released and that's just the unfortunate thing it looked pr a little bit promising but it also looked pretty disappointing i don't know that's just me guys i just don't think that it's going to be coming out anytime soon or i think it's pretty much been cancelled at this point a lot of people can agree with me on that we haven't gotten any news it's been delayed so many times now that i think capcom is fairly sure that it's not gonna do well you know and it sucks that they spent a lot of time on this game mode because it did look pretty pretty good you know and that's my honest opinion i think it's something that we could have played for a couple hours and then been over with within that time but other than that guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and without further ado have a great day that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up today's video guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you and enjoy